Adidas and Sean Witherspoon reunite for an experimental, eco-minded take on the iconic gazelle. A strong theme acts as the connective link between Sean Witherspoon's collaborations with the creative renowned for his experimental and uncompromising approach to sneaker design. His latest link up with Adidas represents this ethos perfectly, transforming the ever iconic gazelle through his unconventional lens. What's up, y'all? It's Daniel Le Chumelier, and if I'm being 100% honest, and honestly, I have no reason not to be honest, I've been very underwhelmed with all of the Adidas and Sean Witherspoon collaborations. Now, hopefully, you're like me, and you weren't expecting a grand slam, hat trick, 100-yard touchdown pass of a collaboration like he had with Nike and that Air Max that would just be unrealistic expectations. But I'm not sure that I was expecting the direction he went with all of his Adidas collaborations and silhouettes. They're not for me, and it seems like if we're going off of the hype meter, they weren't for a lot of people either. So when I saw pictures of these hemp collaborations, specifically this collegiate green colorway, I thought, holy crap, I'm about to buy a Sean Witherspoon Entities collaboration for the first time. And while I don't necessarily love the way the gazelle silhouette fits and feels, I'm very happy with this purchase. So today we're going to talk about it. Sean Witherspoon's innovative reinterpretation of the Adidas Gazelle seamlessly fuses his distinctive vision with alternative materials, injecting a fresh perspective into the iconic 70s design. Constructed using natural hemp, the shoe's upper features all-over embroidery, showcasing Witherspoon's unwavering dedication to unconventional creativity. Noteworthy is the prominent display of Sean Witherspoon's branding on the shoes, complemented by a gum outsole that further enhances its distinct look. The three stripes branding on the panels is covered in white with the same shade on the tongues, laces, liner, and hemp branded hang tag. Maroon appears on the heels and the second set of laces. The Sean Witherspoon and Adidas Gazelle Indoor Hemp Collegiate Green released on November 15th, 2023 and retailed for 140 US American dollars. Now, when it comes to fit, my foot is about a 9.25, but that shoe size does not exist. So depending on the brand and depending on the silhouette, I either go down to a nine or I go up to a nine and a half. In the majority of Adidas silhouettes, especially the more traditional and classic silhouettes, I go down to a size nine and consider that my true to size. When it came to this gazelle, I ordered my true to size, again, size nine, and to me, it fits just right. I'm comfortable in saying whatever size you order when it comes to Adidas gazelle silhouette, order that size. However you like your fit, go with that. For me, I don't like a lot of lockdown in the midfoot and I enjoy wiggle room in the toe box. So again, for me, going true to size and a size nine fits perfectly. Now, when it comes to comfort, I don't find the Gazelle to be terribly comfortable. It's an indoor soccer lifestyle shoe. There's not a whole lot of current comfort technology and for the price point, you're honestly getting what you pay for. This is a better looking shoe than it is comfortable shoe. And that's okay. For some of you out there, you like a more firm, a less bouncy, squishy ride and outsole. This is definitely way closer to the floor. You get more ground feel wearing this shoe. And when it comes to the Gazelle silhouette, I do take out the Adidas insole and insert a third party insole like Fulton's or Superfeet. And while it doesn't add a whole lot more comfort, it is definitely better on my feet at the end of the day, causing less foot fatigue. And I know some people don't like the low profile on the ankle collar of how low this low top is or the way that it feels or the size of the tongue. Different strokes are different folks. If you're wearing short, no-show socks, maybe you don't like the way the tongue feels on the top of your foot. And if you're wearing longer socks like crew cut or ankle or the old school all the way to your knees, well then maybe it doesn't matter to you much. Wrapping comfort up, I will say this gazelle feels like every other gazelle I've tried. So if you like that, great. If you don't like that, also great. Just know what you're getting into when it comes to this silhouette. As I said in the opening, this is by far my favorite Sean Witherspoon Entities collaboration, and I wonder if it's because it's way more understated, especially in comparison to his other collaborations with Adidas. It's a basic shoe. It's green, it's white, you got the gum, and you have this maroon with a little bit more color here on the back of the heel, and I think that's fine. I really, really like the way this shoe looks. I like the way it feels. Uh, hemp is not traditionally very soft. It's not uh, like a sock liner. It's not like fly knit or prime knit or anything else like this. Now, the softest part of the shoe is that back of the heel because this is, I guess, less hempy. Is this more suede -y? Suede hemp? I'm not really sure. But everything else, ex the exception of the tongue, actually the tongue, can you hear that? The tongue's kind of rough. 
and that's okay you know these older silhouettes the more soccer inspired silhouettes i mean honestly look at the insole there's not a whole lot to it it's just it's just it is what it is the gazelle's been around for how many decades just like the samba it's an iconic classic silhouette and they have made gazelles i believe with boost and well, those are fine i know they did stan smith's is it the samba that they did a 100 percent boost shoe i'm not really sure but this is not boost don't expect boost expect the old school comfort technology on there again because this shoe retails for 140 us american dollars you get what you pay for a better looking shoe than it feels on foot i'm older now so i'm definitely gearing towards more comfortable shoes i will wear this shoe because i love the way it looks and i love the way it matches with my aesthetic and my outfit i'm not wearing it because i'm like this is going to be super comfortable on my feet so Anyway, again, my favorite Sean Witherspoon collaboration with Adidas. I would love to know what you think about this silhouette, this colorway, this collaboration of sorts. We're not going to get an Air Max type home run again. That was lightning in a bottle, but we can get close. We can get to some things. I love what this does. I hope that maybe he'll start doing something similar to this look, this whole aesthetic, toning it down a little bit. I know as a creative myself, more in music than anything else, we hate being limited. We hate being told you only get 12 colors or 16 colors. And, you know, sometimes, as I've heard through limitation, true creativity comes out. So we'll see. I dig this shoe. I look forward to seeing more along this line. Let's talk about it in the comment section down below. So to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Just Chill. Till the next episode.